Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hamali here and thank you so much for joining me in another weekly vlog. So today is Tuesday and I am sitting outside of Project Rise. I'm about to head in and go um, work out with Charan. I'm really excited. It's starting off my week right. Yesterday I literally um, just cleaned the house and like did a bunch of chores that I needed to do so it was nothing exciting. I'm on my period right now so I've been feeling really exhausted and yesterday I had really bad anxiety so I thought I would just take it easy but today I'm feeling much better so I'm happy about that and I'm just trying to be as productive as possible because y'all know how I get um, when my period comes around so yeah let's do this okay so I finished up at the gym I am exhausted so I'm obviously on my period and it was it was just exhausting to get through that workout but I'm happy that I did I almost like canceled this morning because I was like I am way too tired but I feel like lately I've been having the motivation to go to the gym a lot and um, I was like, you know what, I gotta push myself through. Once I get there, I'll be fine. And I was, so I'm really happy I did go. Um, another thing that I wanna say though is that I am so much stronger than I was before. It's crazy to see the improvement. Uh, I remember doing like short squats and not being able to get to like 30. And today I did like 100 in a row and it was, I don't know it's like seeing those little wins that make me feel really good so yeah i'm really happy i went today but i was exhausted i had to take more breaks than normal because my body just couldn't handle it um but i'm i'm happy i went right now i am just waiting to get my oil changed for my car then i'm gonna head home and probably do some work also i got that new breakfast sandwich from mcdonald's um that's like the english uh, muffin with the the chicken in it it's basically like a junior chicken with an English muffin. So McDonald's is basically just serving junior chickens, but just changing the bun, that's all. I mean, it's all right, it's not bad, it's good. I prefer the, the original junior chicken bun though, so might as well just like order a junior chicken in the morning if they do that. Wonderful. Happy Wednesday guys. So today I am doing a collab with Ariba. She's coming over. She's actually going to be cutting my hair. I haven't cut my hair in two years now since like July 2018. Um, and Ariba was the last person to cut it. So she's going to be cutting it again. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. My hair is so gross. It's like just so dead and like frumpy. I don't know if that's a real word, but it's just so like blah and um, it's really really dead at the ends. I have so many split ends and I just need to bring it back to life so this should be good. Okay Ariba yeah. just you finished so my good. hair. <laughs> I feel so good guys so good. my hair finally moves it's not dead no more it was so okay so she keeps saying frumpy. her head was like dead and like it was it like was. awful her hair is it so was. healthy you have such a healthy head of hair thanks you like don't do anything to it like yeah. it's like natural like you barely heat style it if this is dead god knows what my hair is it was just so like oh it was like it wasn't like moving and it was just like it just felt like it was like a big like carpet or something on top of my head it Girl. was ugly my hair's a carpet. Your hair is not a carpet. I'm so obsessed. So look how beautiful my hair looks. Ariba does not take appointments just before you guys start messaging her. Um, we did this as a collab <laughs> instead. Um, but I am obsessed. She was the last person to actually touch my hair two years ago. I want ago. the bob back. I know, I do too. I'm like growing it up for my wedding. That's the only reason I'm growing it up. For like the day after your wedding, like before chopping. your honeymoon? Yeah, just chop it. <laughs> Priority <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to go on my honeymoon first. I'm going to go see Ariba first. Yes. And then I'm yes. going to chop off my hair. And then I'm going to go on my honeymoon. But yeah, I love my bob. So we're going to have to do that again one day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I finished up with Ariba. She left. And now Vicar and I are going shopping. Grocery shopping. I know, not the fun shopping. Just grocery shopping. We haven't gone grocery shopping in like two weeks. I don't know how the fuck we survive. Like, we like barely go grocery shopping. Um... We're going grocery shopping. I am obsessed with my hair. How do you feel about my hair? 
great. It looks fabulous. Compliment me more. I just did. But more. Shut up. Come on. No. It's only so often that I get a haircut. I've only gotten one haircut in two years, so I need more compliments. I just gave you some. But I want more. It looks beautiful. I look beautiful. What else? My hair actually moves around and it looks like it has life to it. And I don't look like there's just a rag on my head. <laughs> I feel pretty. Happy Thursday, guys. So today I had my first naturopath appointment and I am so excited to go on this journey. Um, I've been like slowly trying to add different things to help me recover with my mental health, with my period problems, all that good stuff. And I slowly add things into what I do um, over the years. Like the process of healing for me has been slow, but it's been at my own pace. I don't like to do everything at once because I feel like I get really overwhelmed and then I don't stick to anything. So like I try to get certain things into my routine for a few months and then I start adding in another thing. So for example, when I first started out, I started with Reiki. I was doing Doing that really often and then I started getting into meditation um, and then I started getting into journaling then I started um, increasing my water intake and um, taking supplements and now I'm trying to go to a naturopath oh and also I added an exercise in there so my next step is going to a naturopath and understanding um, what I should be doing with my diet and um, if there's anything, any other supplements that I can be taking and like kind of what's going on with my body. So I had my first um, consultation with Dr. Udani and I found her off Instagram and she is so very sweet. Oh my God. Like I absolutely loved talking to her. She really took the time to explain my period to me and what was going on and um, what problems I may be having and then made all these suggestions of what I should take and um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. She did talk about um, taking some Chinese like herbal medicines. So I'm going to start introducing that into my supplement intake as well. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. It's supposed to help with my mood and um, really uplift my spirits and also like help level out my estrogen a bit. So hopefully that goes well and I'll keep you guys updated. <music> Happy Friday, guys. So today I am with my old friend from university, Christine. It's her birthday, so happy birthday, Christine. Um, and we're hanging out at her house um, in her parents' backyard, and they have a pool, and we're gonna chill by the pool. And I can't wait because I haven't been at a pool in, I don't even know how long, like probably like two years, I wanna say. So it's been a minute and I'm excited and the weather's nice and we're trying to take up the last um, rays of sun before summer ends because it's starting to get cold now and I'm sad. We also got a bunch of sushi. This is like a ton. It's not all ours, I promise. Or is it? <laughs> or is it? I don't know. We don't know. Oh my gosh. Maybe we're just fat asses, but <laughs> it's okay. I don't know how much these guys thought we were going to eat, but they gave us like 5,000 salads and like 5,000 soups. And we also have all this sushi, so looks like we're getting fat today. All right, on to my second adventure of the day, Vikra and I. Hi. Hi, what's up? Uh, we are headed to a bar. We are going to go watch um, the Raptors game. It's game seven. You excited? The last game was really good. Yo, last game was great, so we'll see how the Raptors play today. Uh, I hope it goes into double overtime again. All about the Lakers, dog. Lakers, baby, LeBron James. Anyway, so we're headed <laughs> to a bar. <laughs> we're headed to a bar. We're going to go watch the game. I'm going for the food because Vikra um, is going to buy me food. I never made any such promises. But I'm going to work my magic and I'm going to get me some food for free, so... Is it really free though? It is, in my mind, because it's not coming out of my bank account. It's okay. Coming, it's coming out of ours. <laughs> that I mean, is all. It's coming out of ours, so I don't really understand that logic. But no, it's gonna come out in yours specifically. Who? 
You might you my sugar daddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> wedding planning we're gonna go check out some venues because we're switching up our vet wedding venues um since we're planning on having a smaller wedding now so that's what we're gonna do i don't want to show you guys what venues we're gonna go see because um i want to kind of keep it a surprise so yeah we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go get some barbecue at adamson's and then i'm gonna drop vicar off at his like parents property that they own um they're doing some renovations there and vikra is painting you're painting painting yes, yes. Painting, they've been going painting. like every weekend and it's been exhausting so um hopefully they finish soon but yeah that's what we're up to today <laughs> Those two were my favorite. The ribs were really good too, but I felt like they needed a sauce, which I'm pretty sure they had, but I was just too lazy to ask for. Um, also, I want to talk about last night. The Raptors lost. <laughs> At the end of the night, everyone was so sad. I felt so bad, um, but it was still a fun night. We got to all hang out together, uh, and I had a good time, but you could feel that the vibe, didn't you feel like the vibe like just completely died after? Everyone was, everyone was so depressed. Obviously. I know, but still. Everyone was so depressed. I felt so bad. But. No one's gonna jump for joy after a while. Not like jump for joy, but like still at least like, you know, talk and mingle. But like everyone just went quiet, um, which is understandable. But yeah, it was a good time last night. So guys, it is Sunday today and I am actually going to take the rest of the day off. Um, I'm not feeling too well. I've been pretty anxious this weekend, uh, mainly because after I get off my period, I get a little bit of anxiety because I'm so behind on work um, since I need to play catch up sometimes. Like I need to take some days off to relax and like, you know, make sure that my mental health and physical health are okay um, so that I don't get any more complications with my period and stuff like that. So um, after my period is done, I do sometimes get anxious because I feel like I have so many things that I need to get done. So today I'm going to work on getting a few of those things done and then just taking the rest of the day off so that I mentally feel okay. With that being said, I'm going to end this vlog off here and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me in another weekly vlog. And if you did like this video, please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for all the love and support you guys constantly show me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!